hi friends welcome to my channel and this is part 9 video in vcp7 data center virtualization training 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to map learn and create data store in vSphere vCenter server so in last video we have configured our storage server which is win2k19 iSCSI server so basically in this lab demo we are using iSCSI server to provide the storage to our ESXi host so uh, first thing we are going to create an iSCSI learn on our storage server and then we are going to create the data store in vSphere vCenter server so this is my demo environment so first machine we got iSCSI server which which is our storage server and a part of that we got uh, our domain controller which is win2k19 dc01 uh, so this is my domain controller and we got our vcenter server up and uh, running and we got two ESXi host in a vcenter server so let's verify the information so this is my active directory and dns server so win2k19 dc01 and my labs uh, domain name is labsandson.com and this is my iSCSI server which having win2k19 iSCSI and this is joined in my domain and if I go to file and storage you can see we got multiple learns already created and which is connected to my um, connected to my e, um, ESXi host so this is good so and we got two ESXi host and vCenter so here we got our two ESXi hosts ESXi 01 and 02 running on my VMware workstation and I got my vCenter up and running so this is my infrastructure so now we are going to create first learn on our iSCSI target server and then we are going to add that learn and create the data store on the vCenter server so the first thing most of the time are uh, creating learn and uh, and uh, providing learn to iSCSI servers uh, uh, from uh, to the um, basically um, ESXi server it's going to be a net uh, storage admin task so the VMware admin should only create the learns um, create the data store at the vCenter level so so uh, since we are in demo so I am going to show you how to create the iSCSI learns also so just go on iSCSI server and go to iSCSI uh, section and then you can create a new iSCSI virtual disk and just click select the path where you want to create so click next and then I'm going to create the date uh, basically a DS05 for now so DS uh, so call it like ESXi DS05 and I'm going to leave it for uh, for now going to have it for 300 gig and select the GB click next and iSCSI target my iSCSI clusters uh, my uh, ESXi cluster so click next and just click on create so now we are done from the storage in and we have created the uh, learn and we have all also created a map the learn to the ESXi clusters which you can see we got two ESXi hosts both with the two NICs so the from the storage the task is done and now we need to go to our basically our uh, vCenter server and go to data stores once you go to data stores you can see the data store is not coming right now but uh, we can go to data store section and just right click and click on add uh, storage and new data store so you need to select the VMFS click next and then you can call it like DS05 and select the host so you will see the disk is not coming here because we are the our storage adapter is not rescan so you make sure your storage adapter is rescan before you come here so I'm going on my ESXi host and configure and then I'm going to on a storage adapter and just I'm going to select the relevant iSCSI storage uh, adapter and just going to click on refresh and click OK so now if I go here on device I will be able to see my 300 gig is now coming so we should be able to create and if you want you can go on other ESXi host also uh, and you can see it's not coming here so just click on refresh or restore scan um, rescan storage so it's going to be um, available for other ESXi host also and you will see the status is not consumed now we are good 
to go ahead and create the data source so uh, go to data source section storage and new data store and VMFS volume click next and call it like DS05 and select the host and click select the now learn which we have just created 300 gig click next and select the VMFS 6 click next and I'm going to use the entire space so click next and finish so uh, now you will see the data store is created and you will be able to see the size of around uh, th uh, 300 gigs so this is how you can create uh, the data store uh, learn on the uh, storage end if you are using the ISKC target server and how, how you can map that learn to our uh, ESXi host then how you can create the data store so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye